Good afternoon, everyone. I am joined by Councilmember Joyce Shepard, who is the chair of our Public Safety Committee. Um, for, the for the third time in just two weeks, I have spent the better part of a day reviewing video footage involving allegations of excessive use by members of the Atlanta Police Department. Tragically, the most recent incident involved the fatal shooting of a 27-year-old man, Rayshard Brooks. Officers were called in response to Mr. Brooks falling asleep in his car while in the drive through line at a local Wendy's. After a series of questions and administering a field sobriety test, officers attempted to arrest Mr. Brooks. While attempting to handcuff Mr. Brooks, he tussled with the officers and was able to take the taser from one of the arresting officers. As Mr. Brooks ran away, he turned over his shoulder and appears to fire the taser at one of the officers. The officer in turn shot Mr. Brooks with his service weapon. While there may be debate as to whether this was an appropriate use of deadly force, I firmly believe that there is a clear distinction between what you can do and what you should do. I do not believe that this was a justified use of deadly force and have called for the immediate termination of the officer. What has become abundantly clear over the last couple of weeks in Atlanta is that while we have a police force full of men and women who work alongside our communities with honor, respect, and dignity, there has been a disconnect with what our expectations are and should be as it relates to interactions with our officers and the communities in which they are entrusted to protect. Chief Erica Shields has been a solid member of APD for over two decades and has a deep and abiding love for the people of Atlanta. And because of her desire that Atlanta be a model of what meaningful reform should look like across this country, Chief Shields has offered to immediately step aside as police chief so that the city may move forward with urgency in rebuilding the trust so desperately needed throughout our communities. Former Assistant Police Chief and now Interim Corrections Chief Rodney Bryant will serve as the Interim Police Chief as we immediately launch a national search for new leadership. Chief Shields will continue in a role to be determined. To the men and women of APD, your service and sacrifice on behalf of our communities is not lost upon me. And I remain grateful for the work that you do to keep our city safe. But as Dr. King reminded us many years ago, there is a fierce urgency of now that calls upon each of us, myself included, to be held accountable to the communities in which we are entrusted to serve. For that reason, we have already convened an advisory committee to examine our use of force policies in our city and expect feedback within the next two weeks with final recommendations within the next 45 days. To the family of Mr. Brooks, there are no words strong enough to express how sincerely sorry I am for your loss. I do hope that you will find some comfort in the swift actions that have been taken today and the meaningful reforms that our city will implement on behalf of the countless men and women who have lost their lives across this country. With that, I'll uh, take any questions that you may have. This was her decision to step aside as police chief, yes. I have accepted it. She will remain um, with the city um, in a role to be determined to help us
plan and implement a, co a course forward, but she is stepping aside as police chief. Just the one officer who fired his weapon, uh, the other officer has been placed on administrative duty. All right, thank you.